Hey guys, Silence here here. Welcome back to another Ultra Macross Gacha video. As some of you probably know, yes, I've been under the weather lately and I'm glad to say I am kind of fully recovered right now. So thank you guys for all the concerning comments and of course the well wishes and all that on my YouTube Facebook page. If you guys are not following me there to keep up to date on what is happening to me, like situations like this where I actually fall sick and I couldn't make a gacha video uh, on time. So yes, this time round the gacha video is like I mentioned before, it's meant to be for both Min Mei and Ranka um, for the last event of the month before the 27th of this month where well Dana basically shows us all the upcoming events for the third anniversary of Uta Macross. Hope you guys are excited for it. I might plan a live stream alongside with the you know, live broadcast that Dana is holding just to do a you know a live reaction you know, for the first time ever. <laughs> so look forward to that and hopefully you guys are you know keen to see what Dana has planned for us. Uh, aside from the surprise launch of the very first background music BGM in short um, that has ever been introduced to Uta Macross <laughs> with this current event that's going on um, so yeah like I mentioned on my YouTube Facebook page I was quite surprised that they tossed in Dog Fighter which was the BGM for uh, the SDF Macross series so a very interesting quite difficult to handle summer as well so yeah let me know in the comments down below if you guys are also struggling with that song because right now i can't even full combo it on very hard which is very strange considering that it's not that difficult a song kind of but it's just that the rhythmic patterns can get a bit annoying when you are having a hard time focusing with a fever in your <laughs> <laughs> so, alright, so let's move on to the gacha page. We've got two gachas to get through and we've got two episode plates to compare and break down. Alright, so yes, Ranka is the latest one. So let's move on to Min Mei's first because, well, I, I missed out making it on time, like I said. So, total score 3853, total score, focusing on voice. So, I guess. Dog Fighter does use voice as his main stat for high scoring purposes. Uh, but either way, you know, considering that I think, if I'm not wrong, it was a Rainbow series song, so hmm. <laughs> I guess, you know, that's why it uses voice even though it's on a Heart or Love Element series episode play. But you, we all know by now that, you know, the element of the plate doesn't mean that the main stack of the plate is you know pink <laughs> okay so center skill units total oh sorry units voice is boosted by 90% up which is pretty good 90% uh, is definitely one of the highest percentage we've ever seen I think there was a 95% somewhere out there but I can't remember which episode of plate it was but yeah moving along um take note of who else is equipable with the plate strangely enough you know the two passionate divas are within the lineup or, or rather all three are there you know Basara, Cheryl and Mikumo are all very passionate divas and artists <laughs> Basara is not a diva so <laughs> yeah um but we don't really consider Min Mei as you know a haughty person in terms of you know a person who performs she has always been the uh, I guess more of a Ranka character, you know, a more mild tone diva, but you know, she has her haughty moments, but still not as not as burning as Basara. Oh my goodness. Let's move on. <laughs> Alright, active skill, score up. So for five seconds, you get yet 70% boost in score. Uh, most of the plates come with this now, so it's okay, not the best active skill. Definitely you won't be using it as an active skill position episode plate, unless you want that, you know, uh, center skill effect to take place. But, you know, overall, this plate is meant to be used as a live skill support plate. 
So combo bonus, if you guys still don't know what it does, uh, shame on you as always. <laughs> you should know all your effects of episode plates by now, especially since that you know I've created almost close to 300 episodes of Uta Macros Gacha videos. But <laughs> that aside, um, combo bonus definitely supposedly a meta uh, life skill support. So I guess if you guys have an easier time clearing dot fighter <laughs> without breaking your combos, this life skill is the thing to go for. Uh, of course, you can have like other episode plates support you, like prevent combo from breaking, that kind of stuff. Then of course, this life skill is going to kick ass when it comes to breaking high score. Alright, let's take a look at the last page. Whoa! It comes with a score boosting note. Holy crap. <laughs> okay, in this case, with all said and done, Min Mei's plate is definitely the highest tiering episode plate for a 6 star episode plate. Uh, definitely not as high as a 7 star, but it is definitely the highest tiering episode plate thanks to this very glorious note attached to it. And of course, you know, considering that it has a meta uh, life skill <laughs> attached to it, I guess this is definitely one of those episode plates that you must have when it comes to you know achieving a great high scores. Alright, so um, Minmei fans, no doubt about it, this is definitely a plate that you must own, must, I cannot emphasize must enough. And for those who are just out there playing the game, you know, just for, um, I guess, pro levelness, um, this episode plate is definitely a must-have as well, plus getting it to its plus 5 luck value and Kira Kira effect for the, you know, the top levelness of high scoring achievements. You definitely need to get it hard plus 5 luck and have it shiny and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, alright, so let's take a look at Ranka's episode plate and see if her plate is actually as good as Mimi. I don't know. I have a feeling that it might not be. <laughs> so, oh, oh, the stats are actually looking about the same, except for that center skill. So, 3850 total score, same as Min Mei, focusing on voice, and of course, the three other divas, Cheryl, wow, Cheryl can use both of them, very versatile. So, Reyna and Freya, yep, definitely. Considering that this is a kind of a futuristic costume, so Reyna is included because she's a hacker. And of course, Frey Frey because, well, she looks up to Raka. <laughs> Alright, so center skill, like I said, not as good as Min Mei's. Well, because it's 30% instead of the 90, I guess maybe Ranka has better active skills? Uh, apparently, yes, because it's an S rank. So for 20 seconds, you have an easier time tapping notes. So I guess for just this event alone, Ranka is supposed to be the center position episode play. And of course, Min Mei is the one backing up. Because Ranka is going to help Min Mei's episode play, you know, retain that combo purposes. You know, because it's going to help you like, um, have an easier time tapping notes so you have lesser combo breaks, that kind of stuff. Then of course, her life skill, Score repeat. <laughs> what am I saying? Score repeat improvement. Um, level five. So, like I said before in the previous videos, where episode plates come with this life skill, it is definitely not a must-have life skill, but it's definitely good to have one around, uh, especially if you are using a whole setup of score repeat um, life skill episode plates, so you can improve their life skills. Um, you know, and that percentage bonus increased as well. So yeah, fantastic stuff. But let's see, is the last page the same as Min Mei? Ooh, not much love given to Ranka as compared to Min Mei this time around. So if you were to decide which gacha to pull, definitely, um, if you're a fan of either diva, please support your favorite diva. Do not let the the, I would say the tearing of the episode plates bother you or stopping you from gaining your diva's favorite costume. We, but you do have to know, Min Mei's costume is attainable 
kind of free from event episode plates itself. So, if you really want to unlock Ranka's costume, the only way to do so is actually by pulling her gacha. So, like I said, the, the, the love balance right here for Minmei and Ranka is a kind of a buyer situation. So, Minmei fans, you are getting the full love from your favorite diva. But sadly to say, for the Ranka lovers out there like myself, ow, it's going to be painful for the wallet in the future. Because I don't think I'll be able to unlock Ranka's costume in one go just from a single discounted plate pool. And considering that I've only got 700 stones right now, I have to do both gachas. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's gonna happen. You know, maybe unlocking Minmei's costume might happen if I do get her episode played out. But Ranka's definitely not gonna happen unless I have enough episode ops to you know unlock the costume manually. So let's do this. We're gonna go with Minmei first. Um, because, well, she is the senpai right here, and her gacha appeared first. Alright, a bit of loading. Not a very long duration, but, you know, we've seen miraculous things happen before. Okay, a very... <laughs> not very enlightening Valkyrie animation right there. Two red boxes at the end of the second bling, so it's kind of a bummer old. The red box appeared kind of soon. Okay, gorgeous costume for Cheryl. That's fine. Let's move along. Ooh, okay, so we do get some costume points. Quite a bit of it. You know, we do get the plate involved, so that's kind of nice. But definitely not enough to unlock Mimi's costume. Maybe. Unless you work very hard during the event. Wow! So if I didn't have this plate evolve, it is definitely evolved right now. So yeah, all right. So both plates are actually new in my collection. Nice. Okay. So we don't get the notification that we can unlock Minmei's costume. So I guess I have to work a bit harder during the event. You know, I've not unlocked all the episode plates attainable yet from the event. So uh, it's it's gonna happen eventually. Alright, let's move along to the waifu's gacha. Um, I have to save though. I, I actually prefer her pre-evolved image more than her evolved image. Because how can you not like this adorable, you know, keychain of the Valkyrie there? Plus, god dang it. And, you know, Osan Shosan at the corner. This is just adorable. So, yes, once again, another episode plate that has a more adorable pre-evolved image rather than the evolved one. I mean, the evolved one looks okay, Ranka is smiling and winking at us, but you know, in terms of illustration-wise, this is a lot nicer. <laughs> Art students will understand what I'm saying. So, let's do this. The very last hand plate discounted pool for the waifu. Well, my waifu. If you guys waifu or, you know, if you have Ranka as a waifu, hey, digital high five. Oh no. <laughs> this is just horrible. Okay. Oh, dang. One red box only? Oh, oh, I'm happy. I'm happy. So, at least I get points for Ranka's costume and a chance to unlock her costume in the future. Oh, the plate evolved, although it's a low rarity one. Okay, moving along. Lots of Cheryl though. Hey, okay, that's not too bad, I think. <laughs> oh, overall, I'm still pretty pleased considering that, yeah, there we go, I get to see this notification. So, definitely not unlocking Ranka's costume anytime soon because, you know, 1200 points compared to what we gotten from this two low level episode plates. Um, yeah, so <laughs> this is kind of a bummer, but that's okay. Overall, it's still considerably a, a well a good potential in terms of future unlocking. So yes, as always, guys, thank you guys for joining me for another episode of Wutamakro's Gacha videos. 
Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of the episode plates for both Min Mei and Ranka. And of course, let me know how you guys did for your own gacha pulls. Did you manage to pull out the main featured plates of either Divas? Or did you actually pull out, I don't know, maybe a 7 star or 6 star uh, rendition of them? You know, that kind of stuff. So anyway guys, thank you guys so much for joining me on this episode. Leave a like to this video if you appreciate the content and if you, you know, like the fact that I'm fully recovered and doing more content just like this. Um, I also did do a, well, kind of a poll or rather an inquiry. Um, so check out my YouTube Facebook page. I did request you guys to comment in that post to say, tell me which diva are you keen to see me do a video on first. You know, the top 10 episode plates for that particular diva that you're keen on um, leave a comment on that post itself um, you know the last date before I close that poll is on the 28th or rather is it the 30th I think it was the 30th is the last day of the month yeah 30th is the last day of the month so yeah you guys got five more days to add in your you know divas names or even basara uh, and let me know. So until then guys, thank you guys. I'll see you guys in the next episode of Utame Cross Gacha videos. If you guys watch all the way to the end, as always, you guys are awesome. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye!